The weather recently are so cold. Why is my body cannot get hot? Wait. How does our body get hot? It's by UCP1! How was the UCP1 discovered? First of all, we need to know more about brown adipocytes. They are very unique. They contain a high number of mitochondria. As we all know, much of the energy released by electron transport in a normal mitochondria is not doing a totally useful work. That is, each exchange of protons through the ATP synthase results in a loss of some energy. Proton. Those energy will be dissipated as heat. In 1978, Niklas and Require found a specific protein in the inner mitochondrial membrane of brown adipose tissue that could uncouple the respiration to produce heat rather than ATP. It means that there is another path for protons to re-enter the mitochondria. So, there are one exit and two entries for the protons to flow through the mitochondria. Through that special entry, protons need not pass through the ATP synthase. Since the energy is not consumed by the ATP synthase machinery, the chemical potential energy is allowed to be fully dissipated as heat. Meanwhile, the pathways are parallel, so the ATP can still be produced when the spatial entry is functioning. Niklas and his team also did an experiment. First, protons with markers are put into the mitochondria in the brown adipose tissue. Then, the proton circuits that use ATP synthase is inhibited. After the reaction, they found that the protons still managed to bind into another protein. This protein was later termed as uncoupling protein, UCP, as it uncouples respiration from ATP synthesis. It is then renamed as uncoupling protein 1, UCP1, after UCP2 is identified. 35 years after its identification, UCP1 is still a very fascinating component. Now I know how our body gets hot.